Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 24H2, which rolled out as this year's annual feature update last week on the 1st of October. So the optional update that we're rolling out over the next couple of days is KB5044384. And if you do decide to install the update because it is optional, the build will be bumped up to 26100.2152 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. Now, because it is in its final days of being tested in preview, as mentioned with the optional update in preview for 23H2, I would suggest that we will get it starting the 22nd of October 2024, moving into the end and the rest of this month. Now, we also get six new features, uh, some of them similar to what I spoke about earlier today with the 23H2 update. And just like 23H2, five of these are rolling out gradually. So you may see uh, these five new features or you may not when they first roll out, and then one is on a normal rollout. Now, starting with the five new features, which are on a gradual rollout, and some of these overlap with 23H2 as well, which I posted on earlier. So the first one, um, just for the purpose of this video, the first new feature rolling out gradually, uh, you can now directly access content on your mobile device from the start menu on your PC. Uh, using this feature, you can now view your device's battery status and connectivity. You can access your voice messages, calls, photos, and pick up where you left off with the latest activities on your device. And Microsoft says only Android users who are already connected using phone link can get this feature. iOS support will be coming later, so just take note of that. And to manage this feature, you would go to settings, personalization, and start. Now the next one I'm just gonna mention and when you get a notification here to the bottom right of your screen, you can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps. So what you would do in that notification is you would select the uh, three-dotted menu, also known as the ellipsis, uh, in the notification and turn it off. And you can also go to settings, system notifications, and turn it off from there, which I think is a nice move. And then the next one, is regarding Windows Sandbox, which is the third new feature on a gradual rollout. And Microsoft mentions the update adds the Windows Sandbox client preview. This preview includes runtime, clipboard, re, uh, redirection, audio and video input control, and sharing folders with the host at runtime. And to access these, you select the, uh, the three-dotted menu, also known as the ellipsis, at the upper right on the app as you can see and you can find new updates for this app in the microsoft store and then the fourth new feature rolling out is regarding virtual disk vhd vhdx and for this one the update adds a detach virtual hard disk button to settings as we can see uh, in the properties for your VHD or VHDX, you go to settings, system storage and disk volumes. And there we go, you'll find that setting. So if you are using that feature, that's a nice step in the right direction. And then just to mention the next one, because it's uh, regarding the Wi-Fi password dialog, which is also known as the Wi-Fi password uh, menu. So... The fifth new feature rolling out gradually is the dialog now has the Windows 11 visual design. So to get to see that, you would go to, as mentioned, your settings, network, and internet. So that's a small little user interface change. And then the sixth new feature is on a normal rollout, and this is also making its way into 23H2, as I mentioned earlier. And you can now configure the Copilot key on the keyboard because on... New devices, as you may well know, like Copilot Plus PCs, the key opens the Copilot app, which has been met with quite a bit of debate. And if you sign into your account using a Microsoft Enter ID, the key opens the M365 the M365 app. So just take note of that. And you can also make the key open a different app or open search. So to do this, you go to settings, personalization, text input, 
and to make the key open a different app the app must be in a signed m6 package and if your pc's keyboard does not have a copilot key change in the setting will do nothing according to microsoft so those are the six new features we are expecting to roll out with our next optional update five really not gradually one on a normal rollout now if you do want to stick around as always this is a bug fix update and there are one two three four five six bug fixes rolling out and i'm just going to mention four of those for the purpose of this video which i think you may be interested in first of all there's a user interface ui fix where you couldn't view some parts of the ui when you run certain apps so that's an important fix and for win logon there's a fix there there was an issue where a stop error occurred during shutdown with win logon so any blue screen of death that gets addressed is an important fix and then there's a web sign in fix where you couldn't sign into your account from the web because the screen stopped responding and then the good news is guys that they have rolled out a fix for the sfc scan now command where you were getting errors every time you run the command and that's a bug which we have posted on um, and spoken about quite in depth on the channel where running F sfc scan now was just you know there was no fix it was just detecting corrupt files and that now microsoft is fixing and that was a bug that was introduced with 24h2 so this update will address that issue where sfc scan now um, was getting errors every time you run the command and i think a lot of users including myself are going to be very happy that that fix is rolling out because it has been quite a nuisance and i certainly hope microsoft also fixes the windows update cache that isn't being deleted which we have also spoken about but go check that video out it'll be linked down below and in the end screen so guys that's more or less what we can expect to see in our next optional c release update kb5044384 for windows 11 version 24h2 which will be rolling out over the next couple of days and obviously when that becomes available uh, to the public in the stable version i'll let you guys know so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one